Good day, all. Thanks for joining. Mr. Chris here, your host for Breathe Your Way Back. Now, I hope wherever you are, you are well enough. And if not, perhaps these next breathful moments can get you back to a better place. Now, today's Breath and Motion is dedicated to all the soccer fans out there, past and present. Now, as you may know, in the course of a regular game, while the ball is in play, you cannot touch the ball with your hands unless you're the goalkeeper. But if the ball does go out of bounds, one can pick up the ball and throw the ball back in play. Now, before we begin the breath throw in, I'm gonna start with, well, our little ball here is an indicator. Helps with the image. I'm going to start with a small ball and begin to expand the same with my breath. I call it a breath ball. So starting small, we're gonna breathe in and release and contract the ball. Breath ball, here we go. Breathing in and release. Let's try a breath ball with our right hand on top. Breathing in, release. Let's rotate and try a breath ball with our left hand on top. Breathing in and release. Now we're ready for the throw in breath motion. Now we're gonna start with a soccer ball about so big and we're gonna step back here to show the motion from midriff. We're gonna start by raising the ball through the inhale to the top of our head. That is the wind up. So breathing in, and at the top of the arc, we're going to then release, then extending, following through with our hands down to our sides. Let's try another throw in. Breathing in, and release. Taking your time once again with the throw in. Now I'm gonna add a little step here, literally, while we're going through the soccer throw in. I'm gonna get the legs involved with a small step left, a small step right. Let's try and see how this looks. I'm gonna raise in as I do normally with my wind up. And just before I exhale, I'm going to step forward just about six inches with my left foot. That's all I'm doing. I know you can't see my foot at this time, but I just took a small little step with my left foot and I'm just sinking into that knee just a bit. Now, remember, if any of the motions at home cause you to get into some painful situation, do not go there, all right? Stop before that becomes an issue. Never go into something that is painful. All right, stay within your parameters of comfort. All right, back to start. Feet are even, ball is at our midriff. Let's have a breath in. The top of my wind up, take a little step with that left foot and release. And here's our final part. That back foot now, my right foot, I'm simply going to step up to a point where my feet are even again. All right, let's try that now. I'm going to release, step with my right foot. See how that feels. All right, back to beginning, take a breath. Now step with the right foot, six inches or so, sink a bit and release. And through. Now my back foot is my left foot. I'm going to just peel that foot literally off the ground. Peel like that heel, ball, and toe come up, almost like a cat when he's sneaking up on a mouse. We're going to just step in very gingerly with intent and soft motions. All right, from the beginning, let's try two breath balls with a left foot and a right foot step. Soccer throw in, here we go, breathing in. Step left and release. Right foot steps forward to next breath. 
I will reorient. Now I'll be stepping with my right foot. Have a breath. Mini step with your right foot and release. And now take that left foot and step up, even with the right. Nicely done. Now practice your soccer throw-ins on your own. You can have an actual ball if that helps you. But let me also give you two prior breath movements that we've done in the past before we check out. Let's go to a breast stroke, just to review the same of the motions with the breast stroke. Have our breath in. Release. Another breast stroke in. Release. Let's end with the opening move. We'll also use it quite often as our finishing motion, the stand and sit hands. Let's have a breath in. And release. To finish. Again, have fun with the soccer throw-ins. But before I leave, let me show you a throwback moment from yours truly. This was taken many hairs and many years ago when I was playing soccer for St. Paul High School in Bristol, Connecticut. And as you can see, I have a long history with the soccer throw. Don't blink, just breathe. Thanks for sharing.